Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be trying some deck that I probably didn't try in this channel yet. So it's gonna be a Dark Knight bait, which is very specific deck that well has baity cards and has Dark Knight in it. Very self-explanatory, but at the same time it's also deemed very fun to use and I'm gonna just try this theory out today. So I'm playing Crawling Steel here to counter my uh, to counter my Skelly Keg. That was pretty obvious. I'm gonna be playing Copter here to eliminate his Bomb Girl and get some value on the Swordsman. So I'm gonna play some Phone Horde to counter his, his Phone Keg. Get to see what can I do right now. I'm gonna actually go all in because I think that he went very aggressively, so I might just take advantage of that and <coughs> my digger is putting in work, so I think we can call it very successful expedition. He's gonna go for a swordsman right now, I hope he's not gonna get too aggressive because I'm not too confident with my responses with a, without a phone horde against his phone keg. It's pretty tricky sometimes to defend that. He's gonna go for a flying bomb which well <laughs> he didn't play a good response against i'm gonna right now play a helicopter because he just wasted a flying bomb and i'm gonna follow it up with a skeleton keg and my dark knight will get just will just get value it's just not questionable this should be play this should be deemed a rolling steel certificate i'm gonna actually play a blitz to get one more shot from my helicopter and I think that's gonna be a very comfortable advantage for us to start the game going into the double mana. So right now we're gonna just be playing a normal stuff. I'm gonna play a phone horde on this one. I'm gonna get my devils on the tower which was very nice. I purposely played a digger one tile uh, to the back. Uh, just to get my digger in. So he's gonna be playing Bomb Girl, which was a very nice play of him, getting some damage back, but at the same time, he's just feeding my helicopter, and right now it's uh, looking pretty dire for him as he will have to defend this other side with a Dark Knight and Skeleton Keg on his tower. Yeah, this Dark Knight is just absolutely ramping on his tower left and right, these stone falls will connect on the left side and that's gonna be tower down, so there you have it. Very fun game number one, I would say even we will manage to get a second tower and with that being said, we're gonna just jump to the game number two. Very fun game number one once again. And it looks like we're gonna get Mysterious Mind once again, so after this game I'm gonna just take a little break to reset the matchmaking since he may be queuing up after me once again there's no problem with that unless i want to make an entertaining video in that case i would love to just get a very varying content so i'm gonna just play helicopter whether he blocks it or not it doesn't really matter for me he might be blocking it right now and that was a absolutely beautiful play out of him uh, i'm gonna play stone phones there's no reason to overthink that i'm gonna be playing devils here to counter this one, I actually think I can play Dark Knight against his Swordsman, even though it seems kinda not okay, uh, certainly for me it sounds very unokay. I'm gonna do it anyway, because, well, why not? I'm gonna play Skeleton Keg and Fall Horde to snipe his Bomb Girl, and we're gonna be absolutely successful with that. He actually wasted his small spell, and oh my god, that's gonna be a lot of trouble for him. He missed two skeletons, they will get additional hits on the tower and in the game number two we're looking very solid so far. We're gonna be playing Stone Falls against his Swordsman. I'm gonna try to mitigate the damage I received from this phone kick. Unfortunately we don't have either Rolling Steel or Footman Keg for that, so I kinda had to take some damage. It's just how the matchup works. I'm gonna play Dark Knight in the back right now because we're up mana and that's one way of converting the advantage, you just play things in the back and when you meet at the bridge with your opponent you will just have more, so this Dark Knight will 
probably go in ham. I'm gonna be sniping his bomb girl. Hopefully, okay, he's he's blocking it very professionally. He's gonna actually manage to protect his bomb girl, except like obviously he receives some damage here. I'm gonna use a blitz on her. No reason not to. He's gonna be playing Fonkek right now and I'll try to receive no damage from that and I absolutely succeeded at that. I mean, I got a Flying Bob on my face, but it doesn't really matter. Flying Bob is kinda acceptable damage at this point for me because I have so much lead. And with that being said, I'm gonna just play Helicopter here. He's gonna play a co Flying Bomb still on my Fawn Horde, which, well, still surprises me because at this point he should probably learn that it's not a play. I'm gonna play some stone falls here to kill his bomb girl. I'm gonna get a digger here. I don't really know why did I do that. Because it was even in Fawn Heart's range, which well he's still going for the flying bombs, which I'm very uncomfortable with because well it doesn't it just doesn't seem as a good play. I'm gonna play digger in the back to get a guaranteed damage. Since he's just uh, defending with spells, I might just attack with something that can be uh, kinda similar to spells. He's still going for the flying bombs, he maybe may have realized that he has to deal damage. And since I don't have a big spell, it might be actually a good play in some world. I don't think he's getting back to this game, but... Okay, he's gonna be playing another flying bomb now. Okay, he actually didn't play a flying bomb. So I'm getting a perfect counter and I'm gonna just play one more, one more digger, trying to squeeze as much damage as is humanly possible, that's gonna be some damage on the tower and yeah, we're gonna just end this game here. He actually made it very competitive and very close for the way it was looking uh, back then, but yeah. That, that's pretty much it. His deck is very defensive and if he doesn't make any mistakes on defense, he should be entitled to win the game. But since we uh, have made some openings, it definitely was full of mistakes from him. He definitely can improve those. So but very cool game to see right here. And yeah, I'm gonna take a little break, but for you, if there won't be any break at all. Let's hop right to the game number three. And right now we are getting a game against Ice Punch. So Ice Punch is known in the community as the pretty much the most aggressive player for a reason. He just went 5 mana at the bridge with no regards to safety, like absolutely seat belts off. And another thing about him is that he's also playing a uh, Dark Knight bait. So we're gonna have a very nice mirror matchup here. I was kinda hoping for this matchup to occur at some point because, well... In a, in a weird way, no one except him in this game is playing Dark Knight base, so we might as well just test how good he is with this deck, really. I'm gonna play Skeleton Cake here, uh, and the Dark Knight will be tanking for this Skeleton very nice to see as always. I'm gonna get a Skeleton to connect right now, he's gonna be playing Blitz, which is like the best response on hand for him. And right now he will win this Dark Knight exchange, so I'm gonna just play some Devils hope for something okay he's like i've said he's just very aggressive so we'll have to just watch out for this he's gonna get some damage but i think right now he was just too aggressive so we might as well go for some punish here we're gonna get some very good drop and wow i, I didn't expect this drop not to kill his phones but apparently it's a thing that's gonna be a very tough matchup it seems so because he knows this deck pretty well, we're gonna be obviously new to this deck, he he definitely has a better experience with it, and he's still aggressive, like... Usually it doesn't pay off, but maybe in this particular matchup it is the way to go, so yeah. I'm gonna just chill a bit, get one hit, and... Uh, I think I'm gonna just play Devils at the bridge, there's no reason not to, it's gonna at least force a response and... It certainly did, but uh, it wasn't the response I was hoping for. He's gonna even play Blitz to get a damage on my tower, which is... 
which is a very infuriating, but right now we are in the double mana and I think the play will be to stack as many Dark Knights as it's uh, physically possible on the board. So we're in uh, with a first Dark Knight, we're gonna playing Skeleton Keg on the opposite side, forcing some response out of him. I'm gonna play Copter against his Skeleton Keg. And right now we are gonna actually play a second Dark Knight because there's no reason not to. So I'm playing Flying Bomb and right now we have a very convincing attack, we just... Okay, I was about to say we just have to liquidate our advantage, but he's playing Dark Knight by himself, so... It looks like we're gonna be having a very small uh, windows of us having Dark Knight on the map and him, him not, so I'm gonna just try to exploit it. For as much as possible, another Dark Knight gets played on the board, and yeah, he he's at this point he is gonna be having Dark Knight uh, for every hour's Dark Knight, so there's no reason to outcycle. I'm gonna just try to uh, maintain the the advantage on the board. Surprisingly, he's okay. He's very aggressive with Blitz, like like you see in this matchup. I think I can just go for the Skeleton Keg, hope to get some damage here. He's gonna be going for the Dark Knight, which I don't think is a good call, but at the same... Okay, we get some damage, this is huge. This is absolutely huge. I'm gonna right now try to play Devils here. And right now it's pretty much the only hold we have to do in the game. I hope this Dark Knight won't get... An okay. We will get, unfortunately, a Dark Knight connection on our tower. He's gonna even drop a Flying Bomb, so we're gonna actually take the L in this game. Very unfortunate, but yeah, he had just more experience with this deck and he's gonna be taking the win here. So, if I were to hold this Dark Knight at the very end, it would be our win, but unfortunately it just connected, so... Very, very frustrating loss, but I don't have any problems with taking it. At least there's something that I can learn from this game. And yeah, we're gonna just jump to the next one. And we're gonna get a 37 medal player who is, well, wh whatever he's called. Honestly, I don't want to try to pronounce it. I'm gonna play Digger first play on the opposite side. And I'm gonna get some damage while countering his uh, things. Good stuff. He's gonna be playing Bomber and Archers, which is, well, acceptable. For sure it's acceptable. I'm gonna counter this Super Ape with Dark Knight. It should deal only one hit on the tower, that's absolutely accept- And he instantly leaves, I don't know why. But Dark Knight doesn't seem to be that oppressing. No, mate. I don't know, he's gonna just leave it here. Uh, maybe he just didn't want to play against Dark Knight. That may be the case sometimes. We're gonna just move to the next game. And the next game will be against Adam. So he's gonna be a 1000 player and starts off with an Ice Tiny. So my first guess, obviously 2.6. Because why not? But now he's playing Poison. So obviously it cannot be 2.6 straight up. At least it still can be Super Ape Psycho, but not with a, a Flying Bomb. So he's gonna be playing Bomb Girl, which is very bizarre thing to see but yeah it looks like he's going to be playing some kind of digger control if i were to guess it still obviously can be anything and he has a can which is like the best counter to a skeleton keg because it just absorbs it for even trade and there's not pretty much any way that i can get around it unless i get it out of cycle so i'm gonna just he's playing phone keg very interesting to see. I'm gonna get a full counter on that and he's playing very aggressive poisons. I think it's a good moment to get aggressive ourselves. Right now we have just a Dark Knight on the board. I'm gonna play Blitz here. And yeah, he's he's doing very good job at countering what we are playing. So huge props for him for doing so. And yeah, th this can isn't it, bro? Because he's gonna miss it. and. Even with that miss, he still uh, gets away with a very greedy defense, so I would say very nicely played by him. But but obviously we have expected more from our offense because, yeah, it should have been way more oppressing. This explorer of him was very tight, so I would say I would say he's uh, he's done the best job that he could 
with the defense except for this miscan. If he were to pull that off, he would get an absolutely perfect defense. I'm gonna be playing right now the Devils and I'm gonna play Copter here just to delete this Explore A sub. I'm gonna play uh, A. Digger, I'm gonna play Blitz on these phones to get some damage. This Dark Knight should be engaging the phones, obviously, but it, it didn't, so that's gonna suck. And right now he actually has a very dangerous position because we don't have good tools to deal with his aggression, especially with Bomb Girls. Like, Bomb Girls are very good against our decks, and... Uh, for the reason that I cannot uh, eliminate them instantly, I have a digger which is a fine response, but it still can be like countered. I'm gonna play Skeleton Keg right now, and unfortunately he gets another Bomb Girl. So right now, what I'm thinking he wants is the constant chip, and that's why I'm gonna just uh, apply the asymmetrically another approach, which is like uh, the infinite pressure. And right now, I think he kind of overcommitted so we're gonna just go dark knight and skeleton cake and we still have the helicopter alive mind you that i'm gonna get a very nice connection here and unfortunately he gets a full cleanup so i'm gonna go digger here i'm gonna go devils right now it's pretty much the time uh, for me to liquidate my uh, map advantage and unfortunately i think i'm even losing the map advantage so it won't even matter at the end, so he, he's getting away with a very good defense, he's pretty much stealing this game for me. Three bomb girls are on the board, and right now I'm gonna just... Okay, he's having poison, which is like the most frustrating thing you absolutely don't want to see now, and yeah, that, that's gonna be an L, unfortunately. He's gonna be getting an absolute steamroll with this bomb girl, and he even gets some BM at the end of the... Game Well, I don't blame him because I was playing a Dark Knight deck, but at the same time, like, you, you can just leave that because, like I've said, I don't have the best response against Bomb Girl, and he was just cycling them like a madman at the end of the day, so, yeah, I would say well played by him, don't, don't get salty too much, let's hop to the last game of the video. And we're uh, against Zero Metal player, which is CM Punk fan, and... Yeah, he's going to be having zero medals and he cycles the super ape in the back. And I'm going to be playing a skeleton keg in retaliation on the opposite side. He's going to be playing apes as well, which is like just a free dark knight value. I think that pretty much already seals the game because he spent 4, 13, actually, 13 mana on offense. And I'm just getting a uh, full counter attack, which... I don't think he can stop, honestly, so yeah, that's gonna be an anticlimactic ending of the video, but at the same time, I don't want to prolong it too much longer, because, yeah, okay, he's getting another poison. For an inexplicable, inexplicable reason for me, he's just still holding for his life, obviously he's entitled to do so, always repeat that. If you don't want to give up, you are absolutely entitled not to give up, but at the same time, this game feels pretty over, and absolutely after that, I'm gonna get absolutely infinite Dark Knight value. I'm gonna get a full cleanup on this, and I think after that, we're gonna just walk him straight uh, and get a 3-star. I'm gonna right now play helicopter and a digger hope I did get it in time and okay. So that's why he didn't kill it. He has Dark Knight himself and he just wa was waiting for a good opportunity to play it. So I think he's gonna get a rolling steel here. Eh. I would say very mediocre defense because he still took a lot of damage, but at the same time he didn't die, so maybe for his standards it's good or something. I'm only playing Fawn Horde for these apes, I'm gonna receive some damage, but it doesn't really matter at this point of the game. Because with the next attack, I'm gonna absolutely defeat him, so right now I'm, I'm gonna just play Dark Knight and Devils. This super ape seems to be very dead, and yeah, that's gonna be the game ceiling Dark Knight jump. I'm gonna end the video right here. I don't really am good with this type of decks, I kinda need to improve of them. Um, 
what else I have to say? So yeah, if you enjoy this Boom Arena content, obviously leave the subscribe if you aren't already because I'm posting Boom Arena content daily. This was one of my worst decks, if you can say so, but uh, I have definitely some decks that you want to check out like General or Super Ape. Those are the decks I'm good with and you may want to learn something from them. or just listen to my commentary because like whatever. I don't know what people enjoy, but you definitely enjoy the Boom Arena content if you are watching till the end of the video. So yeah, don't forget to leave the like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and without further ado, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.